Generating the right droplet size for your high-pressure aeroponic system is easy when you know how to choose the right nozzle. First, let's start to understand the role of the droplet size. Drop size refers to the individual drops that comprise of the spray pattern. Each spray pattern comprises of a range of droplet sizes. Many factors can determine the size of your droplets. Liquid properties, nozzle capacity, spray pressure, and spray angle. Some things to keep in mind when thinking about your nozzles and producing droplet sizes. Higher pressure yields smaller droplet size than lower pressure nozzles. Lower flow nozzles produce smaller droplet size when compared to higher flow nozzles. Increase in surface tension of the water will also increase the droplet size. So here we're talking about the viscosity of the liquid. The thicker it is, the larger the droplet size will be. So keep that in mind when you are making your nutrient. Droplet velocity when it exits the nozzle is dependent on the droplet size. Smaller droplets exit the nozzle at higher velocities. However, the velocity diminishes quickly because the droplets are so small. When it comes to choosing your nozzle, what affects the droplet size? Well, number one is the pressure of the fluid. Two is the spray pattern, and lastly is the size of the orifices. A simple rule to hold for all nozzles is that higher the pressure, the smaller the droplet size will be. So the type of nozzle that we are using is called a hydraulic nozzle. That means that we're not using any type of air to force the fluid through the nozzle. For any given hydraulic nozzle, which is what we are using, there is an equation that specifies a relationship between droplet size and pressure. The higher the pressure, the smaller the droplet size. So if you know the droplet size at a particular pressure and you want to change that pressure either higher or lower, use this equation to determine what your new droplet size will be from that nozzle. Another thing that will determine the droplet size produced by your nozzle is the, is the, is the spray pattern. So when it comes to choosing a spray pattern for your nozzles, there should only be two that you are considering, either a full cone nozzle or a hollow cone nozzle. Now, the next step to keep in mind is that when it comes to generating small droplet size is that a hollow cone is more likely to produce smaller droplet size than a full cone nozzle. So, if you have the choice, go with a hollow cone nozzle. The spray angle of the nozzle. 
For a very simple reason, it's easy to understand that the wider the spray angle is, the smaller the droplet size will be. Why? Because larger angle sprays simply have more space to distribute the droplets and so there is less chance of recombination and a greater opportunity to atomize the liquid. So please subscribe right here now on Aeroponics DOI and let us take you where no gardener has gone before.